Welcome to the S4HANA Financial Accounting course. In this presentation, we look at an overview of SAP HANA. Let's look at our course structure. We'll start off with some introduction to S4HANA and then we'll proceed on more detail with the financial accounting module. We'll look at the core basics, the configurations, along with the presentation slides, we'll also look at some practical examples and we'll also look at some reports and transactions. After the main financial accounting module core functions have been presented, there will be a presentation on how to apply for the SAP Financial Accounting SOHANA certification. And there will also be some added bonus materials. This SAP SOHANA Financial Accounting course is targeted towards business finance analysts accountants, finance managers, especially if your organization is running on SAP or if your organization wants to migrate into SAP S4 HANA. Business process owners, if you're responsible for a specific business process which will be applied in the S4 HANA system, then it will be very useful, especially with related to the financial accounting processes. Business users of SAP, this can be super users, power users, or even a data entry user, especially, so for example, something like accounts payable or accounts receivable, bank reconciliation, and so on. Having some information of how the entire end-to-end -end process is working with s hana Finance will be very useful for you to run your day-to-day -day activities. Then if you're going on the consulting path, SAP consultants, if you are going to start off as a junior consultant or, or, or a trainee consultant, if you have the SAP SOHANA knowledge, especially on financial accounting, and or you have the certification, it will be helpful for you to do your day-to-day -day activities as an SAP consultant. Also, for SOHANA finance architects, S4 HANA architects and SAP project managers having a basic understanding of how SAP S4 HANA finance works and how it integrates to the other modules is quite useful to get an overall idea. This course is an e-learning video-based training. All of these slides will be presented to you as PDF files, hence you can print them out and refer to them while viewing these videos. This is a complete SAP consultant level course, which allows you to prepare for your latest S4 HANA financial accounting certification exam. So throughout this course, as I mentioned before, you will be given all the configurations. You'll be shown step by step how to perform the configuration without any steps missed and to also how you can perform the other transactions and run the reports as well. Also, these presentations will also provide some basic understanding as well as in certain topics, some advanced information on the theoretical knowledge as well. Hence, it will help you to prepare for your SO HANA financial accounting certification. As well as even if you are not preparing for your certification, just to simply get an understanding of how SO HANA finance is working, these presentations will give you an overall in-depth idea along with some practical examples as well. As this course focuses specifically on financial accounting, it would be best if you have some basic understanding of accounting principles, such as what is debit and what is a credit, what is a balance sheet account, what is an income statement account, basic business terminology such as vendor, customer, inventory, some terminology such as revenue, expenses, what is a cost center, what is a profit, what, is a, what are assets and so on. All these will be very useful because later on, when we go through more specifically on financial accounting, we will be using these terminologies quite often. Hence, you could probably Google if you do not have an accounting background or if you're not done any subject on accounting, you can simply Google some of these terminologies and get an understanding of what these mean. Then we can proceed to more advanced information and they will all be explained during, throughout the presentation. Let's look at how useful HANA is. With so much of data to be processed, it's key that you understand what's the relevant data and what's not relevant data. So you need a system to accurately retrieve tons of data and then segregate the useful data from the rubbish data. 
and this is key for a business to make timely decisions in an accurate and profitable manner to put out for example to provide key promotions to your customers knowing that these particular products are more profitable and some products which are not profitable you can make other type of decisions so for all this relevant data is very useful and with s4 hana's groundbreaking te te technology in memory hardware you can analyze mass volumes of data at quick speed and with real time results let's look at how sap hana works it runs on an in memory computing platform that is in your ram random access memory sap hana primarily runs on the in memory platform it combines a row based as well as a column based database technology to emphasize i have colored some keywords in blue which you will be able to quickly recall when you're looking at this slide later so in memory and column base are key components which enables for sap hana to retrieve the data much faster it combines a database application processing and integration services on a single platform rather than having in multiple platforms hence the data retrieval is much faster and as i mentioned earlier data now resides in the ram and no longer on a hard disks we we'll look at this in more detail in the upcoming slides and faster speed due to use of multi core cpus and multiple cpus per board and multiple boards per server so hence there is a multiplication of cpus boards and servers which enables the data retrieval much faster compared to the legacy sap environments let's look at how data was analyzed before and how it's done now before database is largely used to store data only and to query the data especially for large volume of queries it looks at the data back to the it takes the data back to the application server for processing and then provides the information so huge amount of time is spent on executing this in the application server so it takes much more longer time however now all three the application server the database server and the client server are residing in a single platform hence the data retrieval is much quicker transaction processing and analytical processing run on the same platform it runs on the in memory high speed memory rams data is organized into columns and partition and distributed across multiple servers we looked at these three points earlier in our slides hence data is aggregated quickly faster results which saves time and saves money this slide is a bit more technical but just to give a quick overview the sap hana database platform can extract data from sap as well as non sap environments these can be replicated into the sap hana database and then data retrieval can be done much quicker there are options where you can have a sap hana database and you can replicate your financial data from your legacy sap environments as well as non sap environments and you can have your own consolidated s4 hana data in the sap hana environment there are three primary deployment options to deploy sap hana one is the on premise where you have total control of the hardware and the time of rollouts you do for the upgrades so you have more control in the on premise option so that is the client has more control in the on premise options in the cloud options you have few more cloud options available with sap where you have less control but there will be more options of automatically rolling out the updates and the releases and most of the time sap manages the software rollouts as well as the platform in the cloud deployment option the hybrid option combines an on premise and cloud option and it gives more further deployment options to the customers again this will be handled by your s4 hana architect or your s4 hana deployment administrators in this presentation we had a brief introduction to hana and how hana works In the next few presentations we'll have a few more overview on SO HANA before we proceed to the main financial accounting co presentations also if you have time 
research on some of the other SO HANA suit of products like Ariba, Conquer, Success Factors, Hybris, Field Glass, and so on. You do not have to know their functionalities, but just remember that what these stand for. For example, Ariba is used for procurement, Conquer is for travel and expense management, Success Factors is for human resources, and so on. So just to have a brief idea of what these SO HANA suit of products will help you when you go into a real life environment where your organization is implementing SO HANA and they might be looking to procure these applications. In our next presentations, we'll look at some more information on SO HANA and then proceed to the financial accounting core areas.